In this uh, short video that I'm making on the topic of GMDSS, uh, today I talk about the importance of avoiding false distress alerts that you may receive on your ship's GMDSS equipment. Uh, so to avoid occurrences of uh, numerous false distress alerts, which may actually lay heavy burden on the uh, maritime rescue coordination centers, uh, special guidelines need to be adopted uh, by the following people. So by the administration or flag states, the manufacturers of the GMDS equipment, the maritime training institutes, shipping companies, masters and other seafarers. Uh, IMO resolution uh, actually gives guidance for the avoidance of false distress alerts and the recommendations as per this uh, resolution is as follows. Uh, that there should be a dedicated distress button which should be physically separated from functional lays used for normal operation. So these guidelines are to prevent any kind of accidental distress message uh, that may be sent by the ship. And uh, if an accidental distress message goes out into the world, then it may lead to a bit of a chaos because uh, interested parties or rescue coordination centers may get into a motion or action towards rescuing the vessel and start deploying their resources, which cost a lot of money. So to prevent all that, uh, IMO has come out with the resolution. Uh, and the resolution also says that the distress button should clearly be identified in the color red uh, and that it should be marked as the distress button. The distress button should also be protected against any kind of uh, accidental activation with a spring loaded uh, a cover or a lid uh, so it cannot be uh, accidentally activated while uh, involved in normal or routine operations the cover has to be lifted and the button has to be pressed uh, for the distress message to be sent uh, operating the distress button should generate a visible and an audible alarm and the button should be clipped pressed for at least three seconds for the alarm activation to take place. At least two independent actions are required to activate the distress button. Uh, this will include lifting the protective cover first and then press the distress button. So you can see how the resolution lays out uh, steps towards uh, preventing the accidental activation of the distress button so there can be no excuse so uh, you if you press it accidentally it cannot be excused because you will have to first lift it and then keep it pressed for three seconds only then the activation will result uh, finally it should also be possible to interrupt uh, repetitive transmissions and uh, distress calling as uh, transmitted from the vessels